All right, I'm taking a little break from CLI Friendly today because uh, something interesting uh, came under my radar this morning. Uh, as I was uh, telling my uh, buddy uh, Mr. Gizmo on the Mumble server last night that I'm kind of looking and shopping around for uh, another distribution to uh, update my uh, server that I have. Uh, I took my old computer and uh, it's uh, being used as a server, but I'm going to need to upgrade the software. And uh, presently it's running an older version of Debian, but um, I saw this and I was like, hmm, this looks pretty good. Uh, so uh, here we have Refacta. Some interesting things that caught my eye this morning uh, as I was uh, looking at this is, um, well, it's based on Dev1. Dev1 is, of course, uh, Debian, essentially, without System D. Instead, you have System V in it. Another thing that caught my eye is this uh, is small enough to fit on a CD or compact disc. So uh, that's great for those of you who don't have a DVD drive on an old computer, but you have like a Pentium or a fast enough processor in the memory to be able to run a distribution like this. Um, so that caught my eye too. And then something else that was mentioned is that uh, many of the components uh, in this desktop uh, are not in meta packages. And that means, let's say there's a component of the uh, XFCE desktop that is installed here that you don't want. You could theoretically uninstall that particular package and not take the entire desktop with it. So this gives you more options in terms of uh, customizing, which uh, I think is ideal. And I think that's just about on everybody's wish list nowadays, especially uh, where a Linux distribution is a uh, concern. You know, you want to be able to have full uh, customization options and that sort of thing. So here we are. And on first glance here, you're going to see that we have a session menu. Um, you also have your keyboard layout, uh, your CPU meter, network indicators. You also have a quick launch to Wicked, which will allow you to manage uh, your uh, network settings there. Okay, uh, a time and calendar, uh, your time and calendar, and uh, four desktops to switch from. This has something unique here, um, something I've never seen before. This is something called Fire Menu, and with Fire Menu, um, you can actually launch some programs um, right here. Now, Actually, you could make a drop down with all these in it too. But, um, all right, so I thought this was kind of interesting. So we just uh, click the option we want and then press OK. The uh, item will close and then the application will run. Next, we have Firefox ex extended support release, and they included a few extra uh, neat little things. You have DuckDuckGo as the default search engine, and then of course, um, two nifty plugins uh, that nobody should be without, the HTTPS Everywhere and the NoScript for uh, those of you with tinfoil hats. A quick launch to Gini, which is its default uh, text editor, uh, Thunar. I like how they laid that out. It's got a nice look and feel to it. And this is the stable release. So we're on, yeah, it's using 4.12. And then the standard XFCE menu, so no whisker menu with this, but you can get it easily from the repo if you want it. Um, quick launches to your terminal editor, your file manager, your mail reader, which is a terminal application, and a web browser. Settings manager, configure everything with this uh, quite easily. Now, of course, to fit this all onto a compact disk sized ISO image. Obviously they had to, you know, leave out some things, but if these things that you want, you can come back at a later time and install them. So not a whole lot of themes to choose from. Uh, just a few icons included with this. Nothing too fancy. Something nice and light for you to build on top of. And uh, so minimalists, this might very well be your dream contribute. Uh, a handful of applications to help you get the most out of the system. And as stated, uh, this does have some lightweight tools like Midnight Commander, which is a terminal, uh, which is a terminal uh, file manager. Okay. 
A handful of graphics tools are also thrown in here. Um, internet tools, an FTP client, IRC. Um, a handful of multimedia tools as well. Personally, I would keep MPV and XF burn and get rid of the rest. I don't use them. <laughs> Abby Word's also thrown in. Mutt is the uh, email program. Can't quite figure this one out. Um, I suppose we can create one and uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, and then uh, no mailbox is open. Okay, well, uh, I don't know the first thing about this. It's a terminal application. But I'm sure I could uh, run the man command against it and find out, really, I prefer just open up email in the web browser. But it's in here for those of you who are geekier than I am. <laughs> so, yeah, good stuff indeed. All right, and a bunch of system tools are also thrown in here. Good that they included Bleach Bit. I keep my system clean with that as well. And, uh, oh yes, um, I didn't show how much memory this is using, did I? All right, um, free, attack M. And it's saying this is using 284 megs of RAM. Obviously, uh, I opened up a few applications earlier. It said 255. So, yeah, it was. it's pretty darn light. Um, so, if you think this is something you would use, um, probably be in your interest to uh, click the link in the description, visit the uh, developer's website, download a copy of this, and try it out for yourself. I know I need a little bit more time with this. I like what I see here, and I think this would be ideal for running on uh, my old hardware as a open simulator server or as a um, web server. So, um, yeah, I like this. I like, I like what I see here. I just need a little bit more time to experiment with it, and uh, maybe this could be my daily driver on the alternative system. So, yeah, cool stuff. Uh, so, I, I've given my favorable report on it. The rest is up to you. Download a copy of this, try it out for yourself, and if you like it, use it. All right, um, it is Saturday, and that means tonight is Cup of Linux game night. We have Saturday night at 8 p.m. New York time every Saturday night. As a matter of fact, I'm on the Mumble server every Saturday night at 8 p.m. New York time, uh, with the exception of Sundays. Some Sundays I'm there, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I just go a little crazy and... You never know. But yeah, I'm usually on the Mumble server, but tonight is game night. If we get enough people to show up to play Super Tux Kart with me and Mr. Gizmo and the rest of the gang, uh, I'll give away some games. Uh, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we have a wonderful community at CoupleLinux.com, so feel free to pop on in and hang out with us. A uh, bunch of swell people. Um, I don't know what else to say other than take a little bit of your time today and be excellent with somebody. And we will catch you next time uh, where I will bring you some more command line friendly. Peace out. Mm -hmm.